हेलो 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 अस्सलाम वालेकुम जी आई एन ऊप खैर रागले नी हाउ चुन शुम में वशमले ओ हाय गुनजाइमस गुटन मॉर्गन ओला बोंजोर प्रीवियस कैफा हाल एंड अ वेरी अमेजिंग खुशामदी टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज ट्यून्ड इनटू पीटीवी वर्ल्ड एंड वाचिंग वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग अलोंग विद द वेरी प्रीटी मरियम शहजाद एंड शहजाद खान लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इट्स टाइम टू राइज एंड शाइन वेक एंड बेक गेट अप एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू आर मोर फोकस्ड ऑन व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू अचीव इन योर लाइफ एंड यू आर टेकिंग दोस स्मॉल बेबी स्टेप्स सो दैट यू कैन रीच योर डेस्टिनी हेलो मरियम हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम डूइंग वेरी वेल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड यू आर रेडी टू स्टार्ट योर डे विद अस एंड जुमा मुबारक टू एवरीवन हु इज वाचिंग आई होप यू आर you have your shalwar kameez is ready to <laughs> for the juma press shahzad is all ready so we have a wonderful show lined up for you guys and we're going to have a, it's going to be a roller coaster i think i'm going to enjoy a lot and uh, shahzad do you want to do the yes, rest yes uh, okay yeah i would definitely want to do the rest but at this uh, particular point of time ladies and gentlemen as they very uh, correctly say that you know behind every successful man there is always a woman so she is the one who's actually been behind me and now when we actually needed somebody to you know replace in fact not replace or Substitute, cover up yeah. or cover up for maha so she actually uh, said that okay i'm going to do it and it's going to be her second last show thank you very much mariam for so being with us for and for you. for being a, a pillar of support thank it you was, very much and pleasure. highly indebted but at the same time ladies and gentlemen let's take a look at what's happening all around the globe a very good morning Prime Minister Shahid Khan Abbasi has said that although remarkable progress had been made achieved in power sector during the last 3 years there is a need to constantly monitoring demand and supply situation keeping in view the anticipated high gdp growth scenario in the coming years Defense Minister Khurram Dastagir Khan has said Pakistan wants to retain a positive relationship with the United States despite President Trump's decision to suspend military aid. Railways across China have taken comprehensive measures for their expected high volumes of passengers during the country's spring festival travel rush from February 1st to March 12th. Researchers at the John Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center in Baltimore, Maryland are edging closer towards developing a blood test that screens for eight different types of cancer. Ukrainian artistic duo Daria Marchenko and Daniel D Green showed their latest creation in New York. And it looks fabulous. But why Trump? <laughs> That's what the question is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these were the top stories, and now moving on towards what we are going to discuss today over here on the show. So obviously, we have been joined by somebody who's been a mentor to quite a lot of people over here in Pakistan, who are associated with folk, who are associated with culture, who are associated with heritage. And since the time she took over one of those very most important institutes, which we name as Lok Virsa. and it's it's about time that she's actually going to move on to another institution and she's heading towards her destiny but uh, as a matter of fact we are going to miss her too but we are going to cherish and we are going to talk about all of those achievements which she alongside her team made within these 3 years we are going to talk about uh, heritage we are going to talk about culture we are going to talk about revival of folk music and we have some folk musicians over yeah. here within the studio so let me just introduce to you on my right hand side executive director lok versa none other than dr fazia said hello ma'am assalam alaikum how are you assalam alaikum i'm fine wa alaikum assalam happy to be here on your show thank, thank you very you much so for much. joining us and alongside dr fazia said we have been joined by somebody who plays al ghoza and her, and his name is akbar khamis khan hello assalam alaikum how are you dado sutha sai wa alaikum assalam Thank, Thank you, you very much for joining us. And last but not the least, he's a tabla player, Ustad Nehmat Ali Khan. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, sir. What's your name? Assalamu Alaikum. Kibla Khairiya. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very you. much for coming over. Thank you very much for joining us. So, Dr. Fazia, first of all, first thing, you know, you've done a great deal, Alhamdulillah, because I've been to all of those festivals which you organize alongside your team. How do you feel? Uh, do you think that these three years were very difficult? Do you think that these three years were very easy? And what do you expect in coming years? Okay, both I think. 
they were right. difficult and they were easy <laughs> both. Oh, good. As far as programs are concerned, as far as the mission is concerned, that was a joy. No good. And not just easy, it was a pleasure to do that. And as far as the institutional rebuilding, strengthening was concerned, that was very challenging because the institute had been in a non-performing mode for a long time, almost a decade. And I think the debilitation and the, the kind of rusting of a government institute, that was a very big challenge. And plus, it is not just non-performing elements, it is also notorious elements that they, they catch root and they learn how to uh, manipulate the management, etc. So those elements I had to deal with and that I'm quite good at dealing with because wow. I, <laughs> I have dealt with that kind of challenges in many times in my life. Uh, so I think it was a gradual process, but right in the beginning we developed a three-year strategy wow. and it had very clear targets and very clear indicators and we operated on that and tomorrow we are having a show in Lokwirsa, it will yes. be a big show and we are going to assess ourselves against those targets that we, st we started right. out with three years ago. So it was more about inculcating cultural identity in the younger generation in terms of promoting pluralism in terms of strengthening the institution itself, you know, in terms of recreating or reclaiming creative spaces for culture, those kinds of targets, you know, not just this program and that program, because the programs contribute towards what we achieved as an yeah. impact in the society. V right. Very nice, and you said it very well too as well, but how, if, if I am to ask you that, how would you summarize these three years? How would okay. you do that? I think it was an example of how a dead institution can become alive again. Wow. I think that is what I would summarize. And also I would say that it is an example of how uh, the younger, fresh blood full of ideas can be induced into the system, which right. is a necessary process, yeah. and uh, bring plurality into Lokwirsa, any institution which is cultural. Uh, I think in the three years it has grown from one or two provinces to Five provinces. Yes. Right. Yeah. So that was a very beautiful process. And, and I think that, you know, uh, when for the last time I went to Lok Versa, ladies and gentlemen, we were recording. Well, uh, for the last years, we have been recording all of these festivals mm -hmm. too as well. And I was very happy to see the provincial representation and the cultural representation from each and every segment of the society. I think that was a good job too as well. But now yes. moving on to Akbar Sahab over here. So Akbar Sahab, you have been three years uh, so management ke niche kaam kiya aur aapne dekha ke ye kitni achhi administrator bhi hain aapne aap kaisa mehsoos karte hain ki aap aage hi apni manzil ki taraf badh rahi hain aapko kaisa lagta hai sabse jo ahem baat hai wo hai ki jab se dr fozia lokursa mein aayi inhone jo government of pakistan aur culture ministry ka jo finance hai usko zaya nahi hone diya pehle jo musical events hote the usse pehle jo jo administration hoti thi उसके अंदर कोई उसको प्रिजर्व करने वाला नहीं था था जो भी शोज़ होते थे होते हैं इनके टाइम में वो इसको रिकॉर्ड भी करती हैं उसकी डीवीडी भी बनाती हैं और वो एक चीज़ सेव हो जाती है इससे पहले जो था वो जस्ट म्यूज़िकल इवेंट्स होते थे उसको कोई रिकॉर्ड नहीं होता था तो ये एक बहुत बड़ी बात है दूसरी बात ये कि बुक्स के हवाले से देखें कि बहुत अच्छी बुक्स उन्होंने पूरे जो भी हमारे पाकिस्तान का जो कल्चर है उसमें चाहे वो फोक डांस हो चाहे वो हमारा हैंडीक्राफ्ट हो या फिर हमारा फोक म्यूज़िक सूफ़ी म्यूज़िक हो क्लासिकल म्यूज़िक हो कवाली जो भी है वो इन्होंने सब सब चीज़ पे ना काम किया है और मैं समझता हूँ और मेरा ये बल्कि इसमें कोई शक नहीं है कि ऐसी ईडी की हमें ज़रूरत है इस्पेशली लोक वरसा में वेरी नाइस और लेडीज एंड जेलमैन आई एम गोइंग टू ट्रांसलेटेड फॉर यू गाइज एज वेल सो uh, Mr. Akbar was actually trying to reiterate that obviously they enjoyed all of these three years, but in three years, the the difference was that you know for all of those festivals, for all of those programs which were being conducted, you know she was the one who actually came up with the idea that okay we are going to record these ones so that everybody out there can watch them as well, and then there's the this shelf life too as well, and then uh, he he praised the role of cultural ministry too over here at this point of time, and then he said that whether it was folk music, whether it was you know, the conventional music, whatever, she tried to promote each and every type of art while she took the office and uh, they just want an ED like that and that means an executive director too as well. Ustad Saab, what do you want to say about this? Bibla, in their sarparasti, the artists who have been given to them, they will not get back to them, nor will they get back to them. 
اس کے علاوہ کوئی بات نہیں زبردست کیا خوبصورت بات کی ہے سو استاد صاحب ایکچولی از ٹرائنگ ٹو سی دیٹ یو نو دا ٹائپ آف پریز دا ٹائپ آف پریز دے دے گاٹ انڈر انڈر ہر ایڈمنسٹریشن از دا ٹائپ آف پریز وچ ایوری آرٹسٹ ڈیزرو اینڈ ایوری آرٹسٹ نیڈ ٹو گیٹ دیٹ اینڈ دے گاٹ اٹ وائل شی واز ان دی آفس ایز ویل سو آئی تھنک وٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ایٹ دس پوائنٹ از دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لسن ٹو بیڈ آف الگو اینڈ تبلا ٹو لیٹس انجوائے لیٹس چیریس سر ہو جائے پھر کیا سنائیں گے شاہ عبد الطیف بھٹائی کا سر ہے سر کوہاری اچھا اس سے پہلے کہ سر آپ سنائیں آپ ذرا ہمیں استاد خمیسا صاحب کے بارے میں بھی تھوڑا بتائیں ان کا خون لے کے بلڈ لائن لے کے آپ چل رہے ہیں آگے مشہور ہستی پاکستان کی سب سے بڑی بات تو ایک اتنا بڑا نام میرے نام کے ساتھ کہ اکبر میرا نام ہے اور بابا کا نام میرے ساتھ ہے تو مجھے وہ لاش تو رکھنی ہے کیونکہ جو انہوں نے الگوزے میں مقام بنایا اس کو آج تک لوگ کنگ آف الگوزہ کے نام سے یاد کرتے ہیں ملکہ برطانیہ نے بھی ان کو خطاب دیا کہ الگوزہ اور خمیسو خان ایک ہی چیز کے دو نام ہیں تو اب اتنی بڑی ذمہ داری ہے تو بس اس کو نبھانا ہے اور جب جتنی زندگی اللہ تعالیٰ نے دی ہے کوشش یہی ہے کہ اس نام کو مزید روشن کیا جائے پاکستان کا نام صبح سندھ کا نام بھی جو کلچر کے حوالے سے وہ ڈاڈا سٹو لیڈیز اینڈ جینلمین اکبر صاحب اوپر ہے از ایکچولی دا سن آف کنگ آف الگوزا اینڈ ایون دی کوئن ایکچولی لیبل ہیم ایز دیٹ یو نو اوکے کمیسو اینڈ الگوزو از ایکچولی دا سیم نیم ایز ویل اینڈ ہی از ٹرائنگ ٹو ریٹین دیٹ سرٹن لیول آف ریسپیکٹ امیزنگ لیٹس ڈو اٹ early in the morning but with that ladies and gentlemen we're going to go head towards a short commercial break don't go anywhere we'll be right back good morning.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For everybody who just got tuned into PTU while you watching was this morning alongside Mariam Shazad and Shazad Khan. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in conversation with Dr. Fauzia Saeed, who's the executive director of Lok Versa. Alongside her, we have been joined by Akbar Khamis Okhan, who is the El Ghoza player. And last but not the least, we have been joined by Tabla player, Ustad Nehmat Ali Khan Saab. Ladies and gentlemen, three years ago, Dr. Fauzia took office, and now I think Mariam needs to progress with yes. her question. Go ahead. Yes, uh, before I start with the question, I just want to say the tune was so good that it actually gave me goosebumps, and I just wanted to cry. You know, there's certain ways you can connect with the music, and this was so beautiful, and something I, we don't hear uh, very often, and thanks to Dr. Saiba that we, you know, we, can, we get the chance, we're getting a chance to hear this tomorrow in Lok Versa. So, Dr. Saiba, the question I wanted to ask you was, uh, what were the challenges you faced when you took over the office? You know, there are always there are a lot of certain challenges, peer pressures. Yeah. So, how did you cope up with all of that? Um, see, when, when somebody is not, not occupying a building properly, you know, then there are people who just break in and they try and take over. So, it was that kind of a situation where there were people from outside Lok Versa who had important positions, they had vehicles in their homes, yeah. uh, that kind of a, I would say barging in, um, a lot of political pressures for things that, that people had taken away. Uh, so dealing with that in the first six months was difficult. Right. But uh, I think government, government institutions are there for public. Right. And that is what I wanted to change the mandate of Lokvarsa to serve the public. Right. rather than just be like a small event management company right. you know right. they should really inculcate that cultural identity that our youth has really uh, divorced you know yes, and now obviously. now gradually so i think that over the 3 years we were able to bring back that cultural revival mm -hmm. uh, and it is like a wave it is like a movement and i think that so many other things have happened in the 3 years so we were more of initiators and then uh, Sindh is culturally very rich. Sindh, uh, we got a very active minister in Sindh. Yeah. Uh, GB, we got very good management in the cultural directorate. So they all pitched in and we worked very closely. Right. I, f I feel that I'm really indebted to the provinces and the provincial cultural departments because we had excellent friendship and we had excellent links. Wow. Uh, also, we brought in all the grassroots organizations that right. work on culture. So we really gradually developed a constituency of culture. Right, right. Because uh, before we were working separately, alone. And now I feel like we, we have a whole baradri, you know, like yeah, a yes. family of culture uh, people. And we have done, that is why we were able to draft the new policy, cultural policy. And inshallah, uh, this minister and prime minister uh, would approve and, and it will be announced soon. That will be, uh, I think, a very big 70-year gift for the nation. That you know, is wonderful. Because we have never had one before. So, uh, when, when you bring in something, so there's always uh, a pressure and a lot of the society does not accept that. Like f with f folk music or cultural music. So, a lot of people do not accept that because we don't know what that is and we don't get that, we don't get to hear that very easily. So, how did you cope up with all of that? Because there is always a society pressure that, you know, there's some, someone is not accepting something new. Mm. So, how did you cope up with that? Actually, you know, we do have our fears, but every time I produce something or I presented something, my, the response was more than my expectations. Right. So, I think the reason is that folk music talks to the heart, right, communicates with does. the heart. And so, people come and they have no issues with that. I think the more difficult part was mm, uh, people want to have a corruption-free institution, yes. a well-designed, well-managed institution, but it is very difficult to fathom that. Right. Because it is easy to point fingers, it is easy to complain. But corruption free also means that you will not be, you know, each yeah. individual will not be allowed, allowed to do yes. corruption. And that people do not like. They yes. only want to say, oh, our management was very corrupt in the past, but they don't realize that it seeps in. Right. So that part, straightening out and bringing Lokursa back on its track as an institution was a bigger challenge. Right. Uh, doing music and presenting these people, reclaiming spaces, yes. that was not that prob problematic. For example, we started celebrating Nauru's, yeah. you know, officially yes. on a government platform, which was very nice. That kind of pluralistic vibe was very yes. nice. 
uh, so people responded and Basant and Visakhi and many other festivals. So this was a part of reclaiming cultural spaces. We had lost these things. Right. So we reclaimed and people responded more than my expectations. Oh, exactly. And, and moving on, you know, I think I'll build up on that. You even had a program with the name of Folk Beats and now yes. there's this new program in the pipeline which talks about folk instruments. Tell yes. us a little about this yes. and how do you think that you know people are responding to that? Uh, very good. Uh, for two years, we have done that for PTV World yeah. here. And we had very good response. Ari Bazar was doing it initially, then Eman Fatima yes. was doing it. Excellent response to that. Uh, we will be presenting other programs to PTV World also. So how would you actually lord the role of PTV World in this journey? With, yeah, uh, you want some <laughs> <with> <laughs> <Lord> <laughs> <Bizarre>. <laughs> I think it has been a very good partnership yeah. and in general with PTV also, with PTV World more strong because we have been producing something yeah. for them weekly, uh, but PTV also and I must say that uh, media in general, all the other channels have been such a fantastic partner because they were there for our programs. We could only do it for the audience and then we do live upstreaming yeah. uh, on our website. But it was the media, the mainstream media that took it to every corner of Pakistan. So we are very grateful, very grateful. Amazing. And, you know, before we move on towards one of those uh, special gifts which you have to share with all of us, I think we'll yeah. once again move on yes, to please. Akbar Sahib and Ustad Nehmat Sahib. Ustad Nehmat Sahib, I want to ask you this question. Now, when Akbar Sahib was playing in Algoza, you were doing something in the mouth. They were doing something in the mouth, they were doing something in the mouth, they were doing something in the mouth, what were they doing? Actually, this is a lack of tempo. Okay. तो ये साथ साथ चलती रहती जी, ये है। साथ तो अभी जो पिछली दफा में जो लय की टेम्पो थी वो क्या थी ये ये जो हमारा जोल है चार मात्रे का आठ मात्रे का वो ओके, चल रहा था ओके भाई इसमें बीट्स होते हैं जबरदस्त जैसे हम बीट्स बोलते हैं ऐसे हम मात्रे बोलते हैं मात्रे वजन बोलते हैं जबरदस्त ये चार मात्रे की लय चल रही कैरवा बोलते हैं जबरदस्त ओके तो अकबर साहब क्या सुनाएंगे आप मैं आपको आज अलगोजे पे पश्तो सुनाऊंगा वाह वाह बरोबर दे पीरा She's very versatile. Yeah, It was very, it was very amazing. And now moving on with the conversation. So that one gift, uh, would you mind revealing this gift as well or not? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the gift for everybody who's out there. Let's let's see. This is a book. It's wow. called Folk Heritage of Pakistan, and uh, we felt that there was no one book which could really represent the folk culture of Pakistan. Wow. And this has folk festivals folk music of Pakistan, folk crafts of Pakistan, the lifestyles, the pluralism, many chapters, Sufism. So it encompasses the whole array, you know, whole... Uh, oh. uh, Would you mind if I can see it? Yes. Thank you very much. And, so, and you can keep on talking about it while I take a glance. It has contributions from over 24 photographers. Wow. About 25 photographers. And it has contributions from different scholars. 
uh, half of the chapters have been written by me and I, I put it together so I compiled it. But uh, scholars like Sarvat Ali has written Music of Pakistan, other scholars, Dr. Kamran Ahmed, Sufism of Pakistan. So it looks beautiful. It does. Wow, it does. It, looks beautiful. it does. And we definitely wanted to share a few pictures from, from the book as well. And there's quite a lot of uh, written content, ladies and gentlemen, in it, it where you can beautiful. definitely get to know about the culture of Pakistan and the heritage indeed. For example, you know, the medieval period, the Arabs, the Gupta Empire, the Kushans, Indo Greeks. <laughs> Wow. And that, that part is the beginning where yeah. we have given the historical linkages the and then it goes on to the folk culture. And then moving on, it talks about the Hindu Shahis, the Ghaznavis, the Delhi Sultanate, the Mughals and okay, so let on me, and so forth. Yeah, let me just jump towards the end too as well so that you know. And then we talk about religious festival within this book, ladies and gentlemen, Urs of Madhulal Hussain and Festival of Lights. Wow. And where do you think uh, we can get this book from? Lok Versa. <laughs> Lok Versa, yes. And then Liberty true. Books will be distributing it. And I think this makes an excellent, excellent gift. And how, lo does. And how long did it take to, you know, write all of this and then combine all of these To put it together pictures? about a year. About a year. About a year. But it has just come out. We have not had a launch yet. So you are lucky you're getting the first glimpse of it. Uh, and let's talk nice. about the show which is actually going to take place in Lok tomorrow. Versa tomorrow. Okay, yeah. What we have done is that we took our strategy and we have taken the six key targets of our strategy and we have organized the show around that. Like I was saying, inculcating cultural identity among youth. So we will see what we have done on that account and what kinds of programs for children and youth. Then we will look at reclaiming cultural spaces. So, uh, for example, our program Open Mic, every weekend we have an open mic, an open invitation to anybody who thinks they have a singing talent. So they come from all kinds of backgrounds and then they perform there. Yeah. And then they get promoted. Then we have children that we have discovered with very pakkasur and you know wow. very melodious voices. We are promoting that. Then we also have a, a, a mandate of promoting pluralism. So we will see in the last three years how we have uh, uh, welcomed Baha'i people, Hindu community, Christian community. Right. We have had celebrations of Christmas every year. So we will look into that as to how much we were able to give legitimacy wow. to these celebrations and they don't have to go in hiding and be ashamed about it or be afraid about it. Uh, so similarly, we will also look at the institution, Lokvirsa, and we are launching uh, I mean, one, one big challenge, or I would say uh, pride now, now after three years, is that we have digitized our archives, audio wow. video archives, and we will be launching that tomorrow. So we are very excited about that. We are also going to show nuggets from our archives. The first time Sai Zahur sang was in front of Lokursa's camera. Wow. Right. So we will show that piece and very old pieces of Abda Parveen and Zarsanga, people that actually got promotion uh, through radio <coughs> or Lok Versa. Uh, so we will be sharing that. We will be sharing uh, glimpses of our child stars. So they will right. come and perform. Uh, so there will be some performances. Mandava, for example, you know, our film club has been performing almost two, two and a half years. They will be, uh, they, they had a screening of yeah. a film every weekend, wow. international as well as Pakistani classics. So Sayyid Noor will be there, wow. Ijaz oh, Gul will be there. And we are going to call all of these artists yes. over here on our show too, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's so a side agenda. So, so you, have, okay. so you have to promise us for that too as well. Yes. Uh, we are starting to receive them today. Wow. So people who have helped us uh, in the last three years to make this happen to, to, for our success, we will be inviting them, acknowledging them. So there will be awards that we will give out. Wow. So that is a surprise. We have not uh, yeah, leaked the list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so we are expecting a lot of people to be coming. Those, uh, we had requested people to register and people were wondering, you know, Lokvirsa programs are always open. Why are they asking us to register? But the reason is that we really want people who have been associated with Lokvirsa. You know, like we want a larger family to be sitting so, there. And, and, you know, they're going to make it to the archive too as well so that, you know, whoever is going yes. to take over, yes. they're going to take food for them. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a small video of uh, Lok Versa. We're going to share that with you and when you guys are going to come back. We're going to ask her whether, you know, when she's actually moving towards her destiny, what does she want for the Lok Versa to happen and how does she see the promotion of culture over here within Pakistan? Let's go ahead. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Do ti 
Ladies and gentlemen, so these were a few glimpses of, well, we cannot definitely cover three years in just three minutes or two minutes, but these were a few glimpses or probably an evidence of, you know, how much hard work went into recreating or, you know, reclaiming those spaces as well. But now moving forward, Dr. Saiba, how do you see that, you know, for, for the next year who's actually going to come and be at your place? What do you see? How, what are your recommendations for them? And how do you see progressing in future years? Okay. I have no clue who will be taking over. But I think that in general, these transitions are very important for institutions. And it is always nice to start three years before time, advertise or extend or whatever. But the process needs to start three, three months, sorry, three months before yeah. right. the term ends so that there is a nice right. handing over. That is what we want for the governments. And that is what should be required for the institutions that you start the process and then you hand over to the proper person who will be taking over. The other thing is that our board was very strong and very sturdy and they did not allow illegal things to happen. And um, I hope that board continues and, and uh, the buffer for political pressures, for land grabbers, for uh, illegal activity. I think institutions need to be protected for those things. So I think whoever comes uh, and our board continues and they became, they should, they should be the buffers and yeah. they should right. be the protective layer for the institution to maintain this corruption free environment and wow. creative environment. Amazing that is, but, but, but for somebody who actually put in so much hard work, you know, it is our responsibility, the, the younger people who are actually following their footsteps to keep on learning. So do you think that in days to come, you might open up an academy where you can teach people that, yeah. you know, okay, this is how culturally you, you can grow or this is how you increase the shelf life of your culture? I culture. think my contribution in culture will continue because I've been contributing to Pakistani uh, society in one way or the other for the last 35 years. So that will continue for culture and for human rights, but I will go back to my writing also. Because wow. uh, other than this book, I kind of, you know, pause that process. Uh, but I do wish Lokvirsa all the best and I hope that media and the society also protects institutions like these and not allow any illegal or criminal activity to creep in uh, when the management is not that strong. Right. Amazing that is. Thank you very much for being with us. We're lovely Thank to you have so you. Sir, do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? I will say the biggest thing that our culture is वो इतना रंगा रंग है वो इतना खूबसूरत कल्चर है और उसकी जो रंगीनियां हैं 
वो तभी फैल सकती हैं कि जब हमारे जो कल्चर मिनिस्ट्री के जो लोग हों जैसे डॉक्टर फौजिया ने जो काम किया है ऐसे लोगों की हमें बस ज़रूरत है सही। जो हमारे मुल्क को पूरी दुनिया में दिखाए कि हमारे कितने कलरफुल हैं हमारा जो इम्पेक्ट जो बना हुआ है दुनिया में कि भाई टेररिज्म के हवाले से वो लोगों के जहन से हटे और फिर ये जो Exactly, so so ladies and gentlemen, Akbar Khamisa Sahib over here very rightfully said that you know we need to project the softer image of Pakistan, and we can only do that with artists like these and artisans yes. like these too as well. Ustad Sahib, आप जाते जाते कुछ कहना चाहते हैं? Madam Sahib ने जो कुछ हमारे artistsों के लिए किया है, जी, वो ज़िंदगी की एक तारीख है. Wow. ये जो बनाकर हमें छोड़ कर जा रहे हैं लेकिन हम ये कहते हैं कि पाक परवरदिगार इनकी जिंदगी दराज करे इन्होंने जो हमारे लिए किया है मालिक इनके लिए हम दुआ करते हैं we want the same to actually happen to her in her life too as well and i think these are the most glamorous and the most glorious words to be actually that's it yes. and uh, now we are going to end the show ladies and gentlemen yes. but we before that we need to wrap it up too as well uh, do you want to say something i hope you loved the show and i hope you loved me having <laughs> on the show <laughs> and i kept you entertained but you will be seeing me on monday then you know so i hope i i was good enough as good as maha yeah you were always thank you, thank you and i hope you love the show it was wonderful for me because i uh, for me i folk music is very very different for me tabla has been always my favorite so it all it, g- it gave me goosebumps so i hope you guys enjoyed this and you had a lovely morning i think it was a great start to our morning it was a great start for you guys i hope so too thank you so, very much so uh, if you have any feedback any comments any suggestions or constructive criticisms please write to us on our facebook fan page which, which is with the name of well this morning face uh, facebook and twitter twitter is well this morning daily motion and youtube is well this morning and the fabulous repeat is going to be at 11:05 <laughs> pm <laughs> till the next time look after yourselves ladies and gentlemen good morning sir take over please yeah.